the speakers, uh, let me just say this before we begin. Speakers, when you uh, come up to the mic, we got this brand new speaker system here today, but make sure you put your not your mouth up close to the uh, microphone here so everybody can hear you, all right? Want to turn it too loud to run everybody out of here. All right, that's everybody get in a position where we're going to get, and we'll get started here, everybody. Father, how are you? Good to see you. All right, this uh, April 25th, uh, 2015, on behalf of the ladies of the Ancient City Chapter, the United Daughters of the Confederacy and the General William Wing Loring Kemp, sons of the Confederate veterans, and Lee's legacy, children of the Confederacy. Uh, my name is James Kimbrew, uh, better known as Jimbo, the commander of uh, Camp 1316 here in St. Augustine. I want to welcome all of you uh, to our monument dedication. A lot of work has been behind this, flowers and Marsha has done a lot of work, all color guard. I want you to look around and see all these ladies dressed up, Jim Davis in his nice uh, uh, uniform and all these other Confederate soldiers all dressed up here. So uh, make them feel good and take some pictures of them, everybody, all right? All uh, right. At this point, we'd like to post the colors. Gentlemen, such a good job. Thank you very much. Very professional. Have a seat, please. Uh, with the Florida Division uh, Chaplain Catherine Owens, please come to the podium and deliver the invocation. Father, your son told us that no one has greater love than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And so on this day, Confederate Memorial Day, we remember the Confederate soldier, our forefathers, the reason we are bound together as the United Daughters of the Confederacy, the sons of Confederate veterans, and the children of the Confederacy. In defense of our Southland, they wore the gray and fought for their cause leaving their homes and families. Some never returned home, but lie buried in unmarked and untended graves unknown to their families and their descendants, but marked and tended by you. They remain an example to all of us today, 150 years after the end of the war, that men and women are still leaving their families to defend our homeland. We ask your blessings upon us, the sons and daughters, the nieces and nephews of the Confederate soldier and our guests here with us today, as well as upon those who govern our country. May they keep it as brave and true as our forefathers, and may they honor our soldiers in the field who follow in the footsteps of men such as these that we here today honor and remember. If any in our armed forces should come to lie in an unmarked grave, we humbly implore that you, O Lord, of those living nearby with the wishes
is to mark these forgotten soldiers as you move the hearts of those responsible for today's memorial. Walk with us and watch over us, O Lord, as we honor the memory of these con gallant Confederate veterans and all veterans of all wars. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. What a good looking crowd we got here. Catherine, thank you very much. It is my pleasure to introduce Rita Zimmerman, President of the United Daughters uh, and daughter, President of the Ancient City Chapter of the United Daughters of the Confederacy. Rita. City 2232, United Daughters of the Confederacy, General William W. Loring, 1316, Sons of Confederate Veterans, and Lee's Legacy, 946, Children of the Confederacy, Observance of Confederate Memorial Day. No day should be more sacred to the South than Confederate Memorial Day. The observance of Confederate Memorial Day began immediately following Lee's surrender 150 years ago this month. Who first had the idea isn't important, as many lay claim to being first. The importance is that the day is remembered and honored. We need to teach the true history to succeeding generations. We need to bring them each year to the graves of those whose blood runs through our veins and let the world know that we are proud they stood for their beliefs. We have cause for pride both from the veterans in gray and the women who dedicated this day to honor them. May they never be forgotten. 